the terminal characteristics of a network are given below this is the terminal characteristics of a certain network and uh, we are required to find the current flowing through 4 ohm resistor which is connected across the terminals of the network so this is our problem number one on source transformation and uh, before we move on to the solution i want you to pause this video and try to find out current through 4 ohm resistor on your own i hope you are done and uh, now we will understand the solution of this problem to find out current flowing through 4 ohm resistor we can have the thevenin's equivalent circuit or the norton's equivalent circuit this means we want to have v th and r th for this network or we want to have i n and r n for this network and uh, the only information we have is this characteristics table so now we will shift our focus on this table and try to find out these quantities in case number one voltage is equal to 60 volts current is equal to zero and these are the values across the terminals why because this table is giving us the terminal characteristics of the network and we know zero amp means the terminals are open circuited and therefore we can say that this voltage is the open circuit voltage and i will represent it by v sub o c now moving on to case number two we have a voltage equal to zero volt and current equal to 10 amperes and we know that the voltage is equal to zero when the terminals are short circuited therefore this current 10 amperes is the short circuit current and i will represent it by i sub sc so from this table we have the open circuit voltage of the network it is equal to 60 volts and we have the short circuit current of the network it is equal to 10 amperes now moving back to vth and in we know vth is the open circuit voltage across the terminals and therefore vth is equal to voc we have our thevenin's voltage it is equal to 60 volts and uh, what about current in current in is equal to the short circuit current and therefore in is equal to isc so in this way we have our norton's current as well in will be equal to 10 amperes now we will try to find out rth and rn we know rth and rn they both are equal and they are equal to vth over i n and vth it is equal to 60 volts and i n it is equal to 10 amperes and therefore r th and r n equal to 6 ohms so in this way we have vth and rth for the thevenin's equivalent circuit and we have i n and r n for norton's equivalent circuit and uh, in order to calculate current flowing through 4 ohm resistor we only need one out of two circuits and uh, i will go with thevenin's equivalent circuit and therefore i need vth and i need rth this is our thevenin's equivalent circuit vth is equal to 60 volts rth is equal to 6 ohms and the load which is 4 ohms according to the question and we need to find the current through the load resistance and uh, let us assume that the current is equal to i and i it will be equal to 60 volts divided by 6 ohms plus 4 ohms so we have i equal to 6 amperes this is our answer